Three, two. Oh, was it my turn? <laughs> I'm sorry, I did it last night. That's why I was like, uh. I figured you'd start the Okay, so okay. Let's let's see. See. What's going on, everybody? DYDXJ knows ho here. And Bronco too. And uh, today we are going to be starting off a new series. Uh, it's going to be a let's build. Um, and today we're going to be doing two builds uh, because uh, they're both pretty simple. Uh, so Bronco, uh, Bronco two here is going to take it away with the, uh, his first build. Yeah, it is a real simple build. Uh, if you're in the mine shafts and you don't want to run all your stuff all the way back up to the top. This is what you can build. It's real simple and easy. It'll transport everything back up to the top. Basically, you drop your items in here. They go down into the hopper. As you can see, it filling up right there. Once it does that, it drops into the cart. Comes over, drops it in this chest. Yep, drops into the hopper. Let's see it come back. There it is. Drops into the hopper. Drops into there. Alright, so let's build this. Alright, so what you need for this, uh, you know, some type of stone, a hopper. Uh, let's see, you're going to need one, two, three hoppers total. You need two chests, a minecart with a chest, three power rails, one, two, three, four regular rails, and three red stone torches. Yep. Alright, so let's start off with this here. And. Alright, so this is where you're going to want to throw down a power rail right off the bat, but you don't want to light it up yet. You want to leave it unpowered. And then, now you want to leave a space right there. That's where your uh, hoppers are going to go. And you want your cart stop there. So, like always, once you get your chest down, throw your chest down there. Make sure you crouch. Put your hopper there. Stay crouched and put your other hopper there. So now, once you put your rails back up, you just drop it right on top. Right. Again, make sure you're crouching. Bam. There it is. So now you can go ahead and light this one. Light that one, but leave this one unlit. Now to get the hopper up there, you don't even have to put the track on yet, or the uh, card in yet. It instantly pops it right to the top. So, like always, to get your chest onto the hopper, just uh, crouch in place. So once you get that there, you throw some items in, we'll throw a sign there, some random stuff, okay? Throw your card on and power it up and that's all it takes it's a real simple system it, as you're traveling back and forth or you, it saves you time from traveling back and forth so that you don't have to take everything upstairs be great for mining if you could make a really long one yeah. obviously take a little bit longer i feel like i'm watching uh some sort of skateboarding video exactly <laughs> Yeah, it, when, it, of course, when you're mining it, it's going to be a lot longer because it's going to go all the way up to the top and back. So it'll take longer to get stuff up to the top unless you make multiple systems. But otherwise, it's uh, just that simple. All right. Well, um, thanks for that, Bill Bronken. Uh, as you can see here, this is Built by Bronken 2. And then you come on over here to mine and it says, Built by DYDXJ Ho. And then I also have the description above it. Um, and the reason we're going to do that is because uh, we do want to invite guests in eventually to start helping us out, uh, build other things. Um, I know that we do have two people already, uh, actually three, that are interested in helping. I know that for a fact. And I'm sure you guys will be seeing their builds in here as well pretty soon. Um, we're going to try to keep these builds more kind of smaller, compact, as you can see. Uh, we don't want to do anything too crazy, too huge. Uh, this is our huge map with our huge guys of Pyramid, but we want to keep everything with most of our builds all in one map here. Um, also, tonight I will be editing this. Uh, this entire wall will go all the way around, and it'll be really tall. But uh, for now, we figure we just flatten it out and go from there. So, All right, so what I have here, guys, is an automatic smelt slash cooker. So you can use it for smelting uh, ores or anything like that. Uh, or not, oh yeah, I guess ores, what do you, you know, whatever you guys want to use it for. Uh, and this first hopper here, 
What we need to do is we need to put some coal in there. Which I do have plenty of, but let me grab another stack. Take the coal. You put it in here. It will start yeah. dropping into, well, the unknown. Then we take a stack of the raw pork chops. We drop them in here. It will eventually also make it into the unknown. Then, as we sit here, it's at 63 pork chops. Just give it a minute. There's another one. Oops. Come on. Where's it at? I heard it. You yes. got it. They got to float through. That's true. All right, yeah, so give it a second here. There we go, 64. Yes. So basically this would just take, it takes a little bit, you know, a little bit of time to make it all the way up, but this is basically just, you know, it's nice because you can just drop your stuff in here and be done. You don't have to sit there and go through every single, every single chest. You can put, you know, you put raw pork chops in here, then you can go ahead, go over, you know, put raw chicken in here, uh, raw beef, you know, anything you want to, and it'll eventually, it'll all come out and it'll all be separated in here. So let's go to the let's build. All right, so uh, first things first, uh, we're going to need a lot of um, supplies for this here. Um, let's see here, the basic would be... <clears throat> the basic here would be the furnace, would be the first thing you need. Uh, we're going to face it this way. And then what you need to do is you do need to crouch, you need to set another one on top of here. Take out the bottom one. And then... Oh, hold on. All right, sorry about that, guys. Had a little bit of uh, cat troubles here. Um, so we need to take the first furnace here. Uh, <clears throat> then after that, we are going to take droppers right next to it. Hold down shift and space so you're shifting while floating in air. Oops. There we go. And then you do three of them on top of each other, just like that. Then right in front of that, do the redstone comparator. Outside of that, redstone repeater, redstone repeater. You can drop your furnace now. Well, obviously you'd have it. Uh, you do one redstone here. I'm getting a little bit of ahead of myself for like the main part of the build. Uh, but I'm just trying to lay out the basics here. On this side, this comes around just like uh, so. Then we'll start working with the hoppers here. You put one hopper leading from the smelter into the first dropper. So you hold down shift while clicking on the dropper. See how it's pointing in there like that. Then you do another one. Same thing, hold down shift, facing here. Then hold down shift and space, another one there. Same thing here, shift and space, another one there. So whatever you put in this hopper, or in this chest that's going to drop in here, a trap chest, it's going to drop into here, drop into there, go here, so on and so forth. So, it's nighttime, we have our stuff all the way up, so. That's true. You need some temporary light. You could always just uh, change it for me if you want to. That would be. Mm, yeah, I can't remember half the time. I know. Is it time set or set time? Time, space, set, zero. So, we do a chest on the outside. Chest on the outside. Then a trapped chest in the middle. So, pretty simple. Um, let's see here. All this is set up. All we have to do now is we need to place a block here. Hold shift so you can place it there. Otherwise, if you do that, it'll put you in there. And then we have to run our redstone up these uh, this little quote-unquote stair system here. And that's it. Now all you have to do is make the outside look all pretty, which I am not going to do right now, just because it's not, it's not necessary. Uh, but what is necessary is getting 64 coal. Let's go get some food. Let's do, uh, we'll do steak this time. 64 steaks. Got 64 coal, 64 steaks. And uh, that's it. You drop the coal in the first chest. Drop the raw beef in the second chest. So what happens is hey, the Jet. raw beef gets taken from the first one, drops down, drops down, goes into this chest right here, into the furnace, and you never see it because it goes here. And what happens is there's going to be one that gets stuck in every single uh, chest here. The first one's going to get stuck here, and then the second one's going to get stuck here. And then after these are both stuck, they will see them. Oh, this time it didn't get stuck in that one. But sometimes it gets stuck in this one right here, so you know you'll you'll notice the leg. Some of them will make, but they won't all come all the way through. But then after that, uh, you guys can decorate this however you want to. If you were in your house, you would just build this underneath your house, so you wouldn't have to make the ramp, you know, the stairs to go up, kind of like what I did there. Um, which I'm not going to get too in detail with here, just because that's that's you know more that's more of the tedious work here. 
Um, but yeah, so you guys can make this however, however you guys want to, uh, whatever you guys think would look good, uh, in your house, uh, use whatever material you guys want to, anything like that. Um, so yeah, I mean, other than that, this is, you know, it's, it's a pretty simple build. Um, I would give it a, oh, I don't know, out of a 10, out of a 10 star scale for rating for difficulty, I'd probably give it a, a three. Very easy to build. Uh, very yeah. simple. Anybody can do it. All you have to do is just make sure you place this stuff in the right place. Doesn't take any time. Uh, you could even build this in your survival world very easily. Um, oh yeah, yeah. I mean, this is just this is going to be a really easy build for anybody. Um, so yeah. Uh, other than that, uh, we do actually have a couple of surprises for this coming up. Um, you know, not today, obviously. But we have some expansions for this that we're actually probably going to use in our own survival world. Uh, so if you guys have not seen our survival craft series, go ahead and check that out. I'll leave a link down below. Um, and actually, I'll probably, I'll probably leave an annotation down below as well. Uh, me and Bronkin have been doing that now. We have, what, 15 episodes? Yeah, 15 episodes are up and more 15. coming this week. That's right. 15 episodes. Uh, I do not have 15 episodes up currently. Uh, my 15th will be up tonight. So if you guys look on there, um, you know, you guys will see it. In the near future, tomorrow maybe. Uh, so I'm gonna post that yeah, overnight. Um, but yeah, other than that, like I said, if you guys want, uh, you know, you guys want to build something on here, uh, leave it out to be shown. Oh. Yeah, this is awesome. Uh, let us know. I, I can't even remember the command now. That's all right. Do it there for you. I didn't even say it. thank you. <laughs> I didn't type it in there. Uh, yeah, these are, these are simple builds. Uh, we've got some other stuff kind of planned with something we've done already. Uh, expanding and making... Uh, we're going to do simple builds, and uh, we're going to expand from a simple to a more complex build at some point. Yes, yes. Um, we will be, do we will be doing eventually... Work. We will eventually be doing more complex builds, but for now we want to start off easy. We want to start off with something that everybody can, you know, join us with and... You know, we're just trying to help other people out. Uh, it's pretty, like I said, it's pretty easy. So we're going to start out with the small stuff so you guys can get used to it. Hey, I learned something tonight straight up already. I had no clue that you could press crouch and fly at jump at the same time and not move. <laughs> yep. I didn't know that. <laughs> and just be able to stay in there so that you can place oh. hoppers. Yes, yeah, I found that out the hard hoppers way. Droppers. Yeah, I was no like, I was like, I was like, I was like trying to place the hoppers like on the drop down, like hurry up yeah, and like place what, them. That's what I did. <laughs> <laughs> but all right, all right, guys. Well, uh, if you guys like this video, please drop a like. Um, hit that subscribe button if you guys really enjoyed this video. If you did not enjoy this video, or if you think that there's something that we could have done better, or a better way that we could have built these, please leave a comment down below. We can't change things up, or you know, like I said, you guys can. Uh, you guys feel like you're the pros at this? You guys can come on in here, show us how it's done. Um, just leave a yeah, comment down below. Let me know that you guys are interested. And uh, for more videos that are be coming up, subscribe. Yes, sir. All right, everybody. Have a good night. Take it easy.